This session here in Albany is starting off to be a real busy one, but a very optimistic one, the way we're talking to people about. It's a great uh, pleasure to welcome a gentleman who has been on the scene here for a number of years. He's seen the highs and the lows of uh, legislature here, and uh, he's optimistic about the highs for this year. He's uh, Assemblyman Jeffrey Dinowitz. He represents the 81st District in the Bronx. Jeff, it's nice to see you. Welcome. It's great to be here. Congratulations on uh, yet another election and starting off a, a session that you're talking glowingly about. I'm looking forward to it. I'm very excited and I am very optimistic. I think this year we will get a lot of good things done for the people of New York. Well, heading up the judiciary is a major, major role. Uh, congratulations, obviously. Thank you. Uh, it is a great honor, but a lot of work you're going to be putting into this. I love working hard. I wouldn't, if I didn't like to work hard, I wouldn't be in this job. Yeah, that's for sure. Well, set us up. What, what have you got planned for the judiciary and, and uh, what, what uh, expectations might your constituents as well as the rest of the state have? Well, I'm going to continue some of the work we've uh, done from last year. One of the things I said last year, and we were successful, as I said, we need to increase the number of judges in New York if we want to really have a fair judicial system, you need to make sure we don't have incredibly long uh, backlogs uh, in, the, in some of the counties where we do. So we added five new state Supreme Court justices last year. I hope we can do more of the same this year. But that was only a little piece of it. Mm -hmm. uh, we have to make sure that we have uh, the funding we need uh, for civil legal services and for just a number of other areas where we want to make sure that everybody has access to the courts, everybody has access to getting uh, things that need to get done. Help in dealing with foreclosure prevention is just one example. Uh, and we, and we want to make sure that all the courts can function properly uh, from the top to the bottom. And that means having enough judges and enough court personnel to do it and having facilities that are, are, are appropriate, not uh, buildings that are falling apart, for example. So we have to look at this from every possible level, but um, everything costs money. So we have a lot of work to do in that area. And then there are a lot of interesting issues with the judiciary. But of course, the work I do includes a lot more than my committee work. It includes uh, everything we do in every possible area that affects our constituency. Well, you know, you, you mentioned the personnel because, uh, you know, five, five uh, judges is great, but they need the personnel below them and to work with them in order to make things work more efficiently and uh, Right. Well, well, if, if we if we add a judge, it means you have to have, a, you know, a court attorney, a court clerk, court officer. You know, there's just a number of, yeah. of different personnel that go along with it. So it's not simply saying we're increasing the number of judges, and we have to make sure we're not short-handed in any of those categories and any that I didn't mention, uh, because we want the courts to function properly. I mean, you know, justice delayed is justice denied, as they say. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Um, what what are the major inputs to uh, the greater New York City area is Amazon coming to town. And uh, that's already caused much consternation for many people. There's obviously a lot of optimism too about the jobs and uh, the high quality jobs that will be there. But it's also causing some difficulty for people who are living in the area. What is your feeling on well, that? Well, I, I think if we really do get the number of jobs that they're promising and the quality of jobs that they're promising, that would be a good thing. But I'm deeply disturbed by two things. One is the process, the secretive process that was used. I don't like that. And secondly, I am concerned about the fact that they are getting huge amounts of money from the taxpayers. I'm not saying that we should never uh, give incentives to corporations, because I, I don't believe that. Mm -hmm. But I do believe that we shouldn't basically pay, pay, you know, give them everything they want. And from what I've seen, it sounds like they're getting about $3 billion in various forms of subsidies. And to me, that's, that's just an enormous amount of money, and it's not appropriate. Well, another area of, of your particular interest is housing, and that's one of the issues that swirls around the Amazon thing, too, about uh, the pressure that it's putting on the housing market, which is already squeezed to death in the uh, greater New York area. Your impression of that? Well, we, we certainly don't want to see people displaced. That would be a terrible uh, side effect. It sounds like it could be a real a, a it, reality, a, though. It, it could be a real problem. And what makes it worse is that the, the 
the rent protection laws that we have right now I think are too weak. I'm hoping that this year we finally have the opportunity to strengthen the rent protection laws to uh, you know, end vacancy decontrol, to deal with the problem of these huge MCI increases and individual apartment increases to address the issue uh, of preferential rents, for example. There are a lot of issues we have to address now that power has shifted in the state Senate. I'm hoping that the Senate will finally pass some of the great bills that we've passed in the Assembly uh, on behalf of the tenants of the city of New York. Lobbying has a lot of weight behind it, and uh, you know, the uh, landlords and so forth have a heavy lobbying presence. Well, listen, they're entitled to lobby like anybody else, but um, we have to do the right thing. You know, some people think all landlords are bad. I don't think that. Uh, I think the ones that my office uh, is in contact with all too often are. That's why people come in with problems. But the fact is, despite any lobbying they may do, I believe in, in numbers, and there are a lot more tenants than there are landlords. I think we have to be fair to landlords, but I think ultimately we have to fight for tenants, make sure that they are being treated fairly and that they're not being displaced. I think there's a direct connection between the massive rent increases over the past 20 years or so and the, and the huge increase in homelessness. There's no question about it. As rents have gone up and up and up, so has homelessness. And it's the single biggest contributor to homelessness, and we have to try to get a handle on that. Assemblyman Jeffrey Denowitz, thank you very much for being with us. Really appreciate it. Okay, thank it's you. It's going to be an interesting session for you. No I think it will be. It, as always. Okay, thank, thank you. Thank you for being with us, and thank you for being with us on this edition of Meet the Leaders as we kick off a new session here in Albany. It's going to be an exciting year. I'm David Smith.